In this quick start tutorial, I want to show you how to use Sundog to build a song. The final result will sound like this. Sundog is a standalone software and you will need to connect it to a DAW or a synth to hear sound. I use the virtual MIDI cable to connect Sundog to Ableton Live. Different Sundog channels are connected to different Ableton channels via MIDI. The box above will trigger the pattern below. You can draw lines to control the pitch of the pattern. Click on a pattern slot to add a note. And click twice to add a stop symbol. You can create arpeggios with plus and minus. Sunlock includes a big list of patterns to choose from. Perfect for bass lines, arpeggios and melodies. You can switch the scale of your song anytime. I will use E minor now. Ok, we want to add some drums as well. The bass drum is triggered by a fixed note. C2 is a standard value for bass drums in many drum kits. You can adjust the velocity of single steps with your mouse. To tap the full potential, let's take a look at the chords feature. Choose an instrument and click on chords. What you see here is the matrix of chords for our scale. You can find triads in the upper part and four note chords in the lower part. Click on Settings, Show Chromatic Keyboard and Chords View if you want to see the chords on a normal keyboard. Let's create a chord progression now. Ok, we want to take these chords for our song and I press Use Chords. I press play and it still sounds like before. So how can we use our chord notes now? It's pretty simple. Instead of scale notes we will use full chords and set the pattern to off. Now the piano will follow all chord changes. Let's create an arpeggio that follows the chords as well.
Simply switch from scale nodes to chord nodes. Finally, I want to record a lead melody for our song. I set the pattern to off and turn on the recording mode. Let's do some fixes until it sounds right. Now the final step. We pick the small MIDI symbol and drag it to Ableton Live. <laughs> 